Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Training Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mal, and in this video what we're going to see is the script called Touch that we have. So basically, in Operator Training Expert we have different kind of blocks, and in this particular it's related to triggers. So we have different triggers, and this one we're going to talk about the touch. So let's go to the software so we can talk more about it. So this is just a new project. If you go to a scripts, all the scripts, then you should be able to see this uh, blank area that there isn't any information. If you open the tool chance, we should be able to see all the blocks available for us. If you take a look here in the global one, we don't have the touch trigger because in the global, there is no object linked or available for us in the global in order to trigger an action. For that, we just need to go to one specific screen or a content. So let's go to the Project Explorer and let's go to one of the screens. So in the screen, I can go to a script. So I should be able to see again the blank area. We go to two chests. Then you have the touch. So on the touch, we just drag and drop it into the blank area. And then here we have different things that we can specify in order to execute something. So the idea is when someone click this option that we're going to have here, and this must be a screen object, then we can do something. Okay. So in this particular case, just to show you, I'm going to go back to the screen. And what I'm going to do is to add an option here. I'm going to add, for example, oops, uh, this, drag and drop. Okay, and let's use this the numeric display. So, one thing that we need to remember here is that we, if we compare this with BGL Designer, is that on Operator Terminal Expert, each object has a lot of properties. So it's important that we give a good name to each option so we can easily identify all the properties that we have then for each object. So for example, this case is sim polygon one. Okay, so it's gonna be um, my case is going to be the object add because what I'm going to do is every time I touch this I want to add number uh, one want to add one to a specific uh, variable. So that variable is going to be here. Variable. Here I need to add a variable. It's going to be int bar add. Okay. So with this one, I will add one and with uh, This one, if you click again, you should be able to see this. Okay. And with this one, I would do subtract one. So this one was called object add, object subtract. So now that I have this object at this one, I should be able to manipulate the data or do something when I touch these things. So script, one click, I need to add the values. It's going to be a screen object, graphic object, dot, object add, good. And then what I'm going to do is to, oops, is to do something here. So. In operations, value change, we can set a value. Okay. 
or add a value, add to. And I'm going to want to the i bar dot value number one. The opposite way would be to select another object, the one for the subtract, subtract to the number one. So if I simulate this, for simulation so as you can see I'm touching this this one is subtracting okay so I can do more things so there is no need for example to have a switch to just have any figure and a link to a specific function or to mix something now a script Let's take a look. When it's press, this one when it's release. I will just press, I need to maintain for a certain time and then release. It's just when I release it. <laughs> okay, so press and release, press. press and then this one I already make the click now when I remove it I just make it now if I hold this uh, okay just need to hold for a minute and then it just execute the action I release and then for example you can hold and play with for example rectangle um, fill shape you can play, for example, tank level. I done it, I believe, in another video. Um, horizontal fill level enable horizontal fill left. And vertical so I need to play with this one so let's see how it looks like you can see it is doing something probably fine but You can see it's decreasing. Okay. It's just one way to do it. Uh, but the important thing for you is to recognize this trigger because when we want to trigger an action and a behavior or do a modification on something that we have in the HMI, it's important to trigger to use the trigger. And this particular case is when we touch something okay there's a lot of different triggers that we're going to cover but this one is the one that i want to show you because if we, we can touch any object that we have on the screen and then we can execute something okay so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Music